Invincible, and Amber's relationship ends in season two of the show, mirroring the comic. On top of that, Adam Eve from another dimension reveals her feelings for Invincible and urges him to tell Eve of his dimension how he feels about her. When Mark and Eve meet up, Mark is hesitant to tell Eve about what happened when he was trapped in another dimension. This is because Mark is confused by his own feelings. You see, even though Mark and Amber broke up, he still has feelings for Amber, and he misses her a lot. Unlike the show, Mark didn't quit college in the comic until later in the story. Being in the same college with Amber and knowing that she could have helped with his grade, on top of the little feelings he still has for her, makes Mark think about her all the time. In the comic, Eve didn't know about Mark and Amber's breakup, but Rex knows about it. And Rex and Eve are pretty close, especially after the incident with the Lizard League. During Eve's visit to check up on Rex, he asked if Eve stopped by on her way to visit Invincible. Eve asks why Rex thinks she would be visiting him. Then Rex reveals that he knows about Eve's feelings for Mark and that Mark is a good guy, so she should just go for it, especially since this would be a better chance since Mark just broke up with his girlfriend. Eve was surprised by this, and with Rex's encouragement, she now has more confidence to talk about her feelings with Mark. She decides to visit Mark, and with a bold look on her face, she asks Mark if he would go on a date since he's single now. She confirms Mark and Amber's breakup and asked if he was ever going to tell her about it. Mark explains that he was going to, but he had things to work out since he just broke up with Amber. Eve became worried and asked if her and Mark would ever work out. Mark assured Eve that it's going to since he also has feelings for her. Mark asks why she is worried since she came in with confidence. Eve explains to Mark that when they first met she liked him. He was smart, funny, and good-looking, but she only considered him as a friend since she was with Rex then. But after Rex cheated on her, Mark has been there for her, and that's when the deep feelings started. And when he got together with Amber, she was devastated. I don't know if this is going to happen in the show, but when Mark started dating Amber, just like Eve said, she was devastated and it made her accept a date from William? So yes, apparently in the comic, Eve and William got together. But don't worry, it wasn't something serious. So she eventually breaks up with William, and seeing Mark and Amber still together hurts her. And then she left for Africa, and even though she went there to help people, being away from Mark was part of it. She apologized to Mark for dumping all this information on him, but she wanted him to know how much she feels, and she has been wanting to take their friendship to the next level for a very long time. This is when Mark reveals everything. He told Eve that he has known about Eve's feelings for him for a while now, and he explained to her everything that happened when he was trapped in another dimension. This reveal surprised Eve, which makes her question Mark's feelings for her. She asked if Mark has feelings for her before the Eve from another dimension told him about their feelings for him. She asked if Mark started liking her after he heard her story and if it makes Mark feel sorry for her. Mark tries to clarify that he did like Eve, but Eve doesn't feel convinced, so she left. Some time passes, and Mark decides to visit Eve in Africa, but Eve is still pissed about their last meeting and doesn't want to talk about it yet. Their little argument was interrupted by Cecil stating that there is an emergency. You remember Dr. Seismic? The supervillain obsessed with historical monuments? With the help of his wristband, he could communicate with the legions of the underworld, which apparently are monsters that just live underground. He was put behind bars after his last encounter with Invincible, and his wristband was confiscated. But I guess even without his band, he is still able to communicate with these underworld legions with vibration? Before, it was just larva creatures, but now he can contact multiple stronger creatures from the Earth's core, which makes him more of a threat than he was. He's able to easily unleash these creatures to the surface of the Earth onto multiple cities. These creatures are able to target every single hero and overwhelm them. This results in the capture of these heroes. They were grouped and trapped in a kind of substance globe that even the strong among them won't be able to escape without crushing the heroes also contained within their individual globe. Mark and Eve hurry to the location and are able to invade where the heroes are captured, but they land in the middle of hundreds of hostile creatures. While Doc Seismic is distracted by Invincible, one of the heroes, Wolfman, was able to escape from the substance globe because his partner can turn to mist, so the escape didn't crush his partner. They proceed to help Invincible, and Doc Seismic bangs his wristband together, calling out giant worm monsters. They engage these creatures, but unfortunately for them, the monsters easily overwhelm them with their size and strength. One of the monsters knocks Eve out cold. Invincible becomes distracted by Eve, and one of the monsters attacks him. Wolfman tries to shield Eve from one of the monster's attacks, but instead he is also knocked out cold. And shortly after, Wolfman's partner was down too. Now Invincible is left to take care of Seismic. Invincible decides to go straight for Doc Seismic, but the monster keeps getting in his way, and one of the worm creatures overpowered him. Invincible snaps and fights with all his might, eventually killing the monster and getting close to Doc Seismic. Invincible tries to attack Seismic, but he collapses. Apparently, he used most of his strength fighting the monsters. 
The monsters restrain them and put Invincible and Eve in one of the substance globes. Being together in the substance globe allows Eve and Invincible to rethink their plan. Instead of fighting the monsters, they plan on freeing the other superheroes. In the Pentagon, Cecil prepares to deploy the reanimon Sinclair has been making for him all this while. Before Invincible and Eve could initiate their plan, Darkwing and the reanimon arrived at the scene and burst the heroes out of the bubbles they were trapped in, and they all teamed up to fight the creatures, with Darkwing capturing Dr. Seismic in the process. You see, during this whole fight, Invincible was confused. He believes Darkwing to be a murderer from their last encounter, so at the end of the fight, he attacks Darkwing, and with the reanimon on Darkwing's side, Invincible believes he has to stop him. Invincible was stopped by the other heroes. Invincible tries to convince everyone that Darkwing is a murderer, and seeing that the heroes are not convinced, Invincible angrily left the scene. Eve meets up with Invincible, and he explains everything about his encounter with Darkwing and the reanimon. Eve tries to comfort Invincible and convince him that he might be wrong, but Invincible is not convinced, and he decides to approach Cecil to get some answers. Apparently there's a big fight that happened between Invincible and Cecil, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to skip that. After the fight with Cecil and the reanimon, Mark went home, and apparently Eve is there waiting for him. She told Mark that she couldn't go home without knowing how things went with Cecil, and that she was worried. Debbie also expresses her concern, but Mark calms them down and explains. On Eve's way out, Mark meets up with her, and she asks about the Guardians of the Globe since they helped him fight Cecil. Invincible tells her Robot, Amanda, and Rex will quit, but he's not sure about the other members, and they might reform the Teen Team. Eve asks if they should go inside so they could talk more, but Invincible stops her and tells her he wants to talk to her. Invincible explains that during the fight with the Reanimon, all he could think about was Eve. He thought he was going to die, and the thoughts that came to his mind at that time are the thought of Eve. He explains to Eve that his feelings for her are real, and as he continues to ramble, Eve interrupts by holding his hands and kissing him, opening a new chapter to their love story.